live out his dream. My friend was able to sing and write and perform. Hello and welcome back to my channel. As many of you are aware, we lost the talented actor Zuri Craig on the 24th of October. So in the video today, we take a look at some of his very close friends and family, childhood friends who knew him very well, you know, celebrating him in a celebration of life, memorial celebration, and talking about the very first time when they met him and the impact and legacy that he left with them and it's really refreshing to see the contribution that he made and not only in the industry that he was working Foundation. in but around the people that he was working with us growing up here in this church between our friends that were at duke ellington and at eastern and the church there was just this web this thing that i haven't actually seen since then you know and the generations to come and the, the people to come after us and it's just got me to thinking about you know the foundation of my life you know what i mean and i'm a performer now and i started off you know i've, I've been singing and performing before since i was 14 i think but my adult life started off with me penny and zuri and forrest in a group we were in a group for seven years and i mean we had three major record deals and everything that we experienced one of us experienced the other experienced and it it really gave us legs you know what i mean and we all we all went about our, our separate ways as, as time went on but i will always remember how zuri used to inspire all of us so outside of everything we all know the i can't even tell the stories because i, I just it would be inappropriate for here like I, I really can't like i can't even i can't even tell you what he calls me you know what i mean so like i so you know but, um but, but but we you know zuri would find in all of us from ish to melissa to kalilia to everybody to penny he would find a thing that was really special about you in your talent and he would amplify it he would come to you and tell you what you could do better he would tell you try this in the same way that tyler perry used to say to them to used to, used to give him direction on stage very very passively but pointed it was the same way Zuri would make it a joke well I think maybe you should try this right here do it like this and, you know he's trying to tell you that he didn't like what you did you know what I mean but he was also giving you a solution you know so he's very solution based and he always he would always we would be on the phone it, we were 17 18 years old we would call each other on the phone and just sing runs and just be just for no reason you know what I mean and he'd tell you to do it this way do it that way you know and he would always find a thing that would make you be better. And when I came to the group, you know, we were, I was a singer, but I never imagined that would be the rest of my life. I, I didn't. And it was because he invited me to come to be a part of that group just off of, I mean, yeah, he didn't have any other friends that sang at, the, at school, but we came there from church, but he was like, hey, we need somebody to come sing. We need another member. So I came to the group and there I found myself. You know, and it was because of him. And we used to have these master classes after discovering Cheryl Pepsi Rowdy before she became his friend. He used, we used to talk about her. He wanted to meet her. He used to, he, she was one of his idols, you know, and I'm just thinking about how looking at full circle, how she's now talking about him. And I remember the days when we didn't know her and we used to sing on same, the same bill as her or like Melanie Daniels. When we discovered Melanie Daniels, we would literally have master classes on how to do up and down runs of like she did you know what i mean and so that was out of everything that i that i've heard today the one thing that really really impacted me most most about him was his ability to inspire he would inspire people around you to just be better to do better especially if you're a performer so mama carolyn you know we yeah all the years of showing up at the house and at grandma's house and taking over all the food and all the things I will never forget. I just, I just won't forget. So, just wanted to say that and just offer that bit. And Zuri, I'm going to miss you. And yeah, that's it. Good afternoon, everybody. Um, my name is Aisha Wyatt Berkeley, and. Um, Zuri was my honest day one. I don't know another way to say it. Um, 
the last I have to say this real quick. The last time I was even in this building was when I for my mother's memorial service and I sat there and I didn't say a word. I didn't sing thank you. I didn't sing a song because I had said everything that needed to be said to my mama. To her. She knew. She knew and that's all that mattered. And so I thank you for the opportunity to do this because I hadn't said everything I needed to say to my friend. The very first day I walked into the doors of Duke Allenson School of the Performing Arts, one of the first people I met was Zuri Craig. And that's why I said he's literally my day one. Day one. And he said something foolish to me off break, <laughs> just immediately. And I was like, I guess we're going to be best friends forever. Um, and uh, the wonderful thing and what I really, really, really wanted to say was what I wish I had a chance to say to him is, like Miss Hollis said, all those days in the back, I don't know how I graduated. I was in the back hallway more than I was in class with Zuri singing. Hello, how did I get through? Miss Hollis, did you do something? Because I was with him in the hallways singing, making up songs. Some of those foundational songs that you saw on YouTube with him and Penny, we made those up <laughs> in 93 in the hallway. We were singing the Birdie Bunch back then and oh, we did the Barney song. <laughs> it was just so, we just had so much fun. Zori could not stand miserable people. He wouldn't put up with them. He wouldn't put up, that, that was, and to me that was a gift because he could spot them out. He didn't do miserable people. He didn't do a miserable atmosphere. And that's why his spirit the way was the way that it was. But the one thing I really wanted to get out and say into the atmosphere, have all y'all hear me say, is that I'm so proud of what he was able to accomplish in his life. There are so many people that have dreams when they're really, really young. They have these dreams. They have these aspirations. They say, one day I'm gonna. One day I'm gonna. One day I'm gonna. And Suri Craig was one of those few people in the world that I can honestly say, you did exactly what you said you were going to do. <laughs> he was able to live his life and see his dream fulfilled. And I'm so grateful to God that my friend was able to live out his dream and his passion. <laughs> Because it was real to him, and it, it affected everything he touched and everybody that he touched. My friend was able to live out his dream. My friend was able to sing, and write, and perform. That's all he ever wanted to give to the world. That's all he ever wanted to give to the world, and he was able to do that. And I want, I, I, I mean, if I'm not anything, I'm encouraged to ensure that before I leave here, <laughs> that I live every dream. <laughs> I was inspired. I was inspired by him. And I thank him for that. He gave us that. He gave us that. And I thank him so much. And I thank him. And I thank my friends for accepting him. These people even grew closer to him than I was. I'm like, hey, God, get, you know, I brought him into our friend group. And <laughs> these people became family because that's how Zuri was. That's how Zuri was. So I just wanted to get that out. I wanted to put that in the atmosphere that he's in. And once again, I'd like to take this opportunity to send my sincere condolences to his loved ones, his family and friends. And I hope you keep this video in memory of your loved one. Just to remember how people adored him and how he meant the world to a lot of people. May his soul rest in peace. <laughs>